His last race was in 2021. Well, we made it. There you go. He's like Sawyer when he's hungry. Another win. Long day of being a horse. What are you doing? Um, put my horse stuff in the truck. Your what? My horse stuff. Your horse stuff? Well, I might be getting a horse today. We'll see. Potential. I'm either going to be coming home with an empty trailer or a full one. It all just kind of depends. But I could be a first time horse owner by the end of today. So for any of the new watchers out there, um, this has always kind of been my goal and a dream of mine that I've had. I grew up with cattle, but I always found myself kind of running to the horse barns when I, whenever I would go to the fairs. And I always tried to live through all those horse people. And I kind of envied anyone who had a horse because I wanted one so bad. So if I get this horse, uh, I think my life, you know, at 25, the biggest dream that I have is checked off and I don't think I'll need anything else. So um, we are still gonna put everything together here. I'm thinking probably in the late fall, um, we'll probably bring the horse back. It all just kind of depends on how fast and how much of Sawyer's time I can take up of trying to put up fence and stall. And then we will bring him home. But in the meantime, he'll be at a boarding facility and we'll still be putting him and this will do YouTube videos. Getting that photo, that first photo. Well, we made it. It was kind of rough getting him off the trailer. He's usually used to a slant at the end of the trailer and here we just had a step down. And so it was kind of a struggle and then we had to back the trailer up to the grass and we finally got him off. And now he's in the stall and he's kind of, we're just gonna let him settle because he's a little riled up. It's a new environment. Horses going in and out. He doesn't like when horses leave. He doesn't like when horses come in. So we're just gonna let him settle for the night and then we will, we'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> How we doing, Finnegan? How we doing, buddy? How we doing? Long day of being a horse. A lot of grass. Did you eat a lot of grass out there? Huh? Did you eat a lot of grass? He's a good boy. Pretty chill horse. I don't know crap about horses, but I know he's a good looking horse. He was pre previously a race horse, right? He was a race horse, and he was, um, so he's an off track thoroughbred is what they call him. And his last race was in 2021. He was born in 2015, so he's he's eight years old. He won one race. Merger of banks trying to get another furlong here, holding off the competition. Global Impact is on the inside, and then it's Where's the Barber? It is Merger of Banks, and Merger of Banks is going to get the job done here. Another win. And then he got some seconds, some thirds, some fourths, some fifths, and... 
um, someone got him right off the track and then that's when I got him is from those people. And he's a good boy. He's, he can be a little pushy, but we'll work on it. We're just gonna lunge a little tonight and then maybe we'll just brush you off. I rode him yesterday. It's been a couple days since the last time we recorded anything because I figured that I would just let him, you know, take a chill pill, kind of settle into his new home. So we got him, when was it? A week ago? Almost a week ago, not quite a week ago, actually. And so we just gave him some days to rest. And then today I figured I'd come out and I would lunch him. And I'm not gonna ride him, but I just figured I'd make him do a little bit of work. And he's a really good boy. And we're gonna put a little bit of weight on him just because we think that, uh, why not spoil him? He could use some weight. And um, yeah, he's a really good horse. So lunging, um, I don't know. I think it's kind of a fun fundamental thing for horses that they should know. Um, I always lunge him before I ride him. That's what I was taught. Um, shout out to Brian Eichel Schulte, who taught me, always lunge your horse before you ride him. It kind of just gets the spice out before you hop on a saddle. And so he's doing, actually, when I first lunged him, it was like probably a day after I got him, he wasn't doing so good. But now he's doing like really good. He just does it right off the bat, which is impressive because he's learning quickly. So this is called lunging. Yep. Yeah. I'm just getting the basics <laughs> down. I'm just gonna walk them around a couple times. Get used to the rope. Get him used to me. You know, nothing too crazy. Maybe someday I'll, I'll lunge him and hopefully I'll ride him just like Cat will. But I'm pretty, I'm a, I'm a noob when it comes to horses, so. Well, I am too. I'm learning. Both Cat and I are learning together. She's gonna, she's gonna beat me though, whoa. She's gonna beat me though, I'm sure, in knowledge and everything you need to know with horses. But I'll have a good teacher teach me once she knows everything. So, so I started watching Cat uh, lunging, and I was thinking, you know what? I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give it a go and try it and try to do my John Dutton impression. So Just make sure it's not dragging on, like you have control of all the rope. No, you can have it dragging on the ground when you're. Yeah, just like get some. You can always loosen it up as he's going. You know what I mean? All right, Finny, let's go. Okay, you're gonna. All right, I'm already. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> As you can see, I'm More towards his butt. You don't want to go towards his face when you're doing it. <laughs> so. <laughs> Oh, bless his heart. Less arm, more wrist. I'm trying, Benny. I'm trying. First time, buddy. So try to stay in a circle, honey. Just try to try to stay where you're at. You know, you don't have to move with him. Just stay in a circle. There you go. Less arm, less arm, more wrist. 
Oh. We'll work on now, it. Now, I don't feel like that was like John Dutton at all. That was more like... Uh, I don't know what that was. That wasn't good. <laughs> we don't have much. We have nobody to compare that to. That was a Sawyer thing. So a lot of progress to be made. But hey, we got to work towards something. So Finn, are you like, what is this guy doing? He's got quite the bottom lip there. Oh yeah. He does. He likes to his little lip right here. He just likes to dangle his lip. Just kind of dangles there. It's like, do you have a treat? Give me something. Some things that we're gonna work on is groundwork eventually. Well, we are working on it, but I just, I want him to respect my personal space a little bit more. Sometimes he can kind of- Do that. He's gonna headbutt me. And I'm like, uh-uh, you're like way too big to be doing that and pushing me around. So we're gonna be working on that. I'm waiting for it. Cause I know he's, he's, pro he's resisting. Or he's going to nip me a little bit. He also is fidgety. He doesn't like to stand tied. Like when we're saddling him, he just gets a little antsy. And I don't know if it's a new environment and that's why. But I also don't like that. He needs to stand and he needs to stand still. Look at him. He's up in my space. I don't like it. I don't like it. I want him to relax and respect my space and respect me and he's just kind of all up in your area. So groundwork, if they can respect you on the ground, they will respect you in the saddle more. And so, I mean, before, he just inches closer and closer. Before I got him, I watched lots of um, YouTube videos just about from all types of horse trainers. And um, I really like Craig Cameron. I believe this is his last one, but he's all about respect and manners and horse man ship and he emphasizes groundwork so if he respects me on the ground he'll respect me in the saddle therefore i'll be more safe well we're not gonna back up he's so i hate when he rubs on me we lunged him a little bit he's really good at lunging i just think it's good for him to get his energy out and um we're gonna feed him a little he already ate. Give him a little is, midnight snack. Give him a little midnight snack. There he goes rubbing on me. Brenda saw that. She would be like, kick his little butt. But we're going to give him a little midnight snack and a flake of hay. He'll be good to go. It's no wonder he's chilled out. He gets hangry. He's, I swear he gets hangry. He'll hear feed. Like when I was riding him yesterday, he heard the feed going in other people's feed pans. And he was pawing at the ground. He was angry. He was like, where's my food? Well, we better go get him some. He loves his feed. So. Go ahead. We'll get him a treat. This is his stall, eh? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. All right. So he, he was originally just fed uh, hay, right? He for was, a while. Yeah, he was fed hay for a while. I think I don't think they fed him feed in the. Um, I think they only fed him in the winter. So he when. With this. You figured out pretty quick that he likes his his grain. Oh, he loves his grain. Oh my Which god. Which is good because you can kind of see his ribs a little bit, but not too bad. But yeah. everybody agrees we should fatten him up just a hair. So. You want a treat? He doesn't even care. Like, these are cookies. Molasses cookies. He wants that grain. He doesn't even care. Here, here you go. Got a little treat. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, he's a, he's a good boy. So yeah, he loves his grain. Oh my God. He's like Sawyer when he's hungry. He's hangry. You know, me and this horse might get along after all. All I need is a Snickers bar, and all he needs is a little bit of grain and a cookie, and he'll be all right. That's that's my kind of horse. I'm gonna get the flake of hay. Low treat. He'll paw at the ground. He'll spread his hay everywhere. Yep. There you go, buddy. 